Coast, Tommy Laren. Tommy, good morning to you. Uh, some members of the media, some of Trump's biggest critics, are also reacting to his abortion stance that he announced yesterday. Take a listen to what they had to say. Perhaps a more accurate headline about Donald Trump's remarks today might have been something like, you know, channeling QAnon conspiracy theory, Donald Trump falsely accuses Democrats of executing children, or Trump abandons previous criticism of strictest state abortion bans. Giving this statement, I think he is trying to wash his hands politically of the fallout of the end of Roe and essentially say this is not going to be a federal issue in this election. Anything that he says could be translated to the following, because he doesn't have any principles. Right. He doesn't yeah. believe in any anything. God knows what he's done in his past, by the way. So you translate everything he says into, please vote for me yes. and put me in the White House. So what is your reaction to that? Really twofold. The uh, former president's stance on abortion and the media's reaction to it. Well, first of all, Donald Trump's message on abortion is a winning one, regardless how you feel on the issue personally. Politically, let's just be honest and be realistic about the situation. We lost the 2022 midterms. When I say we, I mean Republicans, largely because of this issue and because Republicans across the board failed to communicate the issue effectively. A lot of Americans still don't know where most Republicans stack up on abortion, even if some have been clear about it. There's been so much misinformation by the media and there's been so much convolution on this issue that a lot of Americans do believe that most Republicans want a federal ban, even if most Republicans don't want a federal ban or are not pushing for a federal ban, even in states where it's not even on the table because it's enshrined in their constitution. So for Donald Trump to come out and put out a video message directly addressing the issue, which most Republicans will not do, that was an excellent political move for him. It provides clarity. And as for the media's reaction, for those in the media that want to protect abortion rights, for those in the media that want states to be able to decide for themselves. Donald Trump has given them exactly what they've wanted, and that angers them because then they can't use it to weaponize against him. So I'm not paying attention to the media voices. I am paying attention to the former president who is putting out a message loud and clear. And if other Republicans want to win elections and ultimately protect life, ultimately protect states' rights, they will go along with Donald Trump's message. They won't criticize Donald Trump's message. And if they're wise, they will adopt Donald Trump's message on this very controversial, very contentious, and very political issue. Like it or not, this will be an election issue, and Republicans have to have a cohesive stance on it if they want to win. Yeah, there's just so far you can ignore this topic. At some point, everybody is going to have to speak up about it. Meantime, got to get your thoughts on this. Lori Lightfoot, you remember her, the former <laughs> Chicago mayor, will be paid not one, not two, not three, but $400 an hour to investigate Dolphin. Milton, Illinois Mayor Tiffany Hainer, dubbed by some, Hainer that is, as the worst mayor in America for allegedly using taxpayer money on travel and luxuries and retaliating against businesses by using the police. Here is Lightfoot on her planned investigation. Listen. As a lawyer and former federal prosecutor and mayor, I bring expertise in leading investigations of this kind and understand the complex challenges of governing. I will commit to you that I will follow the facts where they lead without bias and reserve comments um, from this night forward until the work is complete. I mean, Tommy, I guess there's some logic in hiring the person dubbed the worst mayor in America a couple of years ago to investigate the current worst mayor oh, no. in America, but literally, was there no one else available? Well, she must have a little time on her hands. But I got to be honest with you. When I saw this headline, I thought it was from the Babylon Bee. I thought that it had to be a joke. This is just too sensational. It's too wild to believe. But no, it is indeed a real thing. But I'd like to also focus on this mayor because I did a little digging. I checked out her personal Instagram profile. She refers to herself as hashtag super mayor. And she has her own podcast. And she repeatedly calls out her haters in a lot of her posts on her 
official Instagram page. I mean, this really is right out of uh, some kind of a soap opera, maybe a Bravo reality show. You know, if Mayring doesn't work out for her, I would hope that she joins Bravo as a Bravo fan myself. Oh. But when you look into some of these allegations, she's making $224,000 a year, but if she is replaced, her, her replacement would only make about $25,000 a year. The luxury vacations, what she's spending her money on, the security detail. I mean, if this wasn't made for reality TV, I don't know what is. Add Lori Lightfoot in, and oh boy, I'm tuning in. Yeah, you might be onto something with that Bravo thing. And uh, Lori Lightfoot, she's going to be making 400 bucks an hour to investigate misuse of taxpayer dollars. If she does this job for a year, that is an $832,000 salary. That is a lot of money. Tommy, thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Tommy. Have a great day.